Let's talk inside. Everyone is good to go. Let's do this. This is gonna be fun. The type of weapons this We're in. houses can't be in the wrong hands. All right. That's why when the EMC closed for business, they took extra precautions We're in. to lock this bunker air. Um. By the, the way, way that the Raiders are embedded in contract banner. Measures. Bunker, an abandoned EMC bunker and armory, they cannot be allowed to access to the dangerous weapons inside. Work with Torque to break their hold on the bunker. Okay. Clear out the bunker. I'm going back to the surface to override the security system, so we can shut this place down before whoever is in charge. Of this As usual. Take care of these guys, then I'll break the security lock. Um, it's here. The first one is there. Remember, let's settle. Got it. Picked up a strange signal after the override, though. Not sure what that was. Alert. What was it? Unauthorized entry in the north hall. Securing bunker. Alert. Unauthorized okay. entry in the north hall. Oh, Securing <laughs> bunker. Yes. That explains it. Something must have triggered when we hacked the security lock. I just tried the door. Looks like you're locked in now. Doesn't matter. I have the, the data. Spick and span anyway. Same plan. Uh, I have my map ready. Finally, did you take care of Dead! The intruders! Kill them. I yeah. won't risk building. The launch must begin. After this, we'll go after scrap scrap yard, and that'll be the end. Commencing launch sequence of Melakesh rocket. Repeat. Warning. Commencing launch sequence of Melakesh rocket. Why would you launch a rocket? Thing I said we'll regret. We have to stop that launch sequence. I'll see what I can do up here. Keep pushing through the bunker. Don't worry. The lights. Uh. Keep pressing through. I might have found something up here. I'll let you know in a few. Should arrive. Here somewhere. <laughs> Got it. Ow. Park hunters, I followed power lines that run down to the bunker. According to the blueprints, they power the generator in the next room. Shut it down, and that should stop the launch. Beginning phase two of Melakesh launch sequence. Repeat. Beginning phase two of Melakesh launch sequence. You better hurry. Yay. Hey. Could use a new shell. What's that? There's the generator. You need to shut it off. Okay. Shut it down. <laughs> Running through the power down now. Don't let them interrupt it. Oh, roll. Looks like you did it, Ark Hunters. The launch is stopped. Beautiful work. Beginning phase three of Melakesh launch sequence. Repeat. Beginning phase three of Melakesh launch sequence. Ah, it didn't work. The launch initiation must have originally.
disconnected from the command center. Get there, now! <laughs> I just love doing that. The fact that I could just zoom right through everything. I could just zip past everyone. Ah, Kazam. This is where you die. There it is! Got them all. Got them all. Yay, we did it! Phase 5 of Melakesh launch sequence. Phase 5? Commencing phase 5 of Melakesh launch sequence. How many phases are there? Let's get going. That means boss time. Never be able to stop the launch. So what's your try? Watch us. Clear this area of hostiles. I like how I. I like this better than um. I like if I do engineer work like this, I would have actually set it up. Just by rolling, I just. Woo! Uh oh. Here's the launch activator drive. Without it, we won't be able to stop the rocket. You son of a bitch. Ah! Get in the formation. Oh god, he's like. Yeah, he's like really high. Die, monster! You don't belong in this realm! Engaging the enemy. The last one. One more. One more car up in that age. And then I'm done. Sorry, yes. It took so long. This will launch in five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna be honest. If this was really Tails, he would have um, he probably would have hacked it already and disarmed it a while back, like in the first console run. Out of my. Look how I'm in and then I'm done forever. Uh, one more. 
I'll be done forever. There you go. That's done. We're done. We're done with that. One more. Gig that might interest you. Cass has tracked a massive arc hall into the scrapwork salvage yard. Dark matter arrived shortly after. It's time for some arc hunters to do what they do best. We do this. It's game over. Game over. I'll spend the rest of the night. Finishing it all up and go uh, completing it. The rest of the team is ready. Transporting now. Ready to rock. My tracker tells me an arc fall landed here 87 hours ago. A few okay. hours later, dark matter showed up. Okay. I don't think that was a coincidence. Which means whatever's in there is worth some jaja. Plan simple. Take out dark Eat data. Need data. Looks like we're blocked. What the? That type of security gate is powered by external power turbines. If we open the back panel, we can destroy the turbine to disable the gate. Woo! Need data. What the? Looks like Dark Matter is preparing to jet out of here. We've got to stop them That's before me. they leave with our arc tech. Check. I'll show you the true speed. There's no way they're jumping our arc fall. I'm gonna scare them off. Come on! Keep moving. I'm getting a read on more security turbines. <coughs> Heavily guarded though. Be careful. Like right here. But I have it. Ah, backflip. Hey, the extra visitor was that indigene doctor, the weird one. What's she knew one? something about the arc fall and says it's important. Arc hunters, I think I know what came down in that arc fall. If I am correct, that one was it will tough. likely be worth a lot of script to many. I can help you extract it, but be leery. It is a very dangerous object. Did you hear what she said? Nice. It's worth a lot of script. Get these shackle gates down so we can get in. Receiving signals from more security turbines in the area. Let's shut them down. Uh. Uh. Um. I've located the arc ball crash site. We're on the right track, so keep pressing forward. Uh. The last turbines are just ahead. They also control the perimeter gates, so once we take those out, it should give Cass and Aaron entry. Tough. Guy. They're coming through the bottleneck! Stop them! Oh boy, they were waiting for us. Snipers, my we shield's got broke. Ah! Shut up a perimeter! It's here, but where? Up there. There it is. Nice I would have never process. found that. I would have never known that's where it was. Security gates are down. We're heading in the back now. The last one. I was right. We cannot let Dark Matter activate that device, or it is going to be a big issue. Mm. Stop the Arc Hunters! Keep the Progenitor core secured! Is the ground shaking where you are? What's going on down there? What is happening?! Oh no, something activated the core. I'm going to try to take control of it, but you'll need to weaken it. It's still too strong. Keep fighting. Keep it up. I'm almost through its security. I'm through its security. Just one more thing. Whoa! Oh. Got it. This baby is under my control. Oh. 
control. The progenitor core is now dormant. We are not able to make it to you, so you will need to bring the core to us. Be careful. It is infected with an artificial intelligence. I'll keep it nice and calm so we can guide it out of here. But let's hurry. That's some I'm... valuable gear over there. Moving the core up. Where? Stay nearby and keep anything from antagonizing it. Wait for me! Wait. Looks like the core woke up the entire junkyard. Yeah. Mm. It sure did. Mm. It's not about not having it. They're trying to protect it to make sure that it doesn't get harmed. It's trying to protect itself. Uh oh. The core just opened the gate on its own. That means I don't have full control after all. We better stay close to it. I wonder if they're acting on their own or if the progenitor core is telling them to attack. I'm just happy that we're getting it done finally. I'm happy as can be. This is it. Once the door. Bring it on! Did it again. In here. Get the data. Um, I did not tell it to stop. The AI is taking over again. Kill the bots. It's siphoning its power through them. Got it. All right, we're done. Let's go. Keep wrecking those things. The core is losing its power. Oh, man. There's a shooter. I just don't like the fact they have two, um, two things on them. I think it's because everybody is 5,000 but me. So it's like reading them over. It's like making everything... Um down. I've control. All the enemies are so be on the ready. are tuned to them to everyone else. We're on Woo! Escape, but something is holding it closed. Oh come on. The progenitor core is holding that gate shut. You'll need to force it open. Open the gate. Holy shit. I've never seen anything like this. It is beautiful. The technological advantages it holds are limitless. As are the financial advantages. I just can't believe... No! Do not touch that! The core is drawing its last bit of energy from the appendages! Here we go! Be careful. These guys are tough as nails. Oh, it's this again. Oh no! Hey, remember that thing? Remember that thing? Let's go! Let's go! Um, I'm a little freaked out now. Man, I wish I had an overpowered weapon. I mean, I kind of do, but it's nothing compared to what they're doing.
matter, it's over. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Oh yeah, and I even got the trophy. I mean the achievement for getting all of them done. It has been burned out, but it's still worth an arc full of script, right? Please say it's worth an arc full of script. Without the artificial intelligence, it is worth as much as any other pile of metal here. But at least dark matter was handled, which is terrific. Yeah, that's great. Super excited about that. Son of a bitch! I thought my days of arc chasing were over. There you are. Oh, I wish I had the. Wait, I can. I could do it. I've been burned out, but it's still worth an arc full of script, right? Please say it's worth an arc full of script. Get a legendary. How about a random legendary? Thank you. It's worth as much as any other pile of metal here. But at least dark matter was handled, which is terrific. Yeah, that's great. Super excited about that. Son of a bitch! I thought my days of arc chasing were over. What happened? It has been burned out, but it's still worth an arc full of script, right? Please say it's worth an arc full of script. This scene will repeat itself over and over, sadly. What? What? Please tell me that counts! Alright, let's see what we have today. Threw me out of the game. All right. <laughs> no, it still counted because I did get the um, which we caught. Yeah, it counted. It counted. We're safe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And... Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, I swear to God, it, I hit like complete and it just decided. Wow. Like, wow, okay. Just hurt me more, game. Find a way. It's time to walk a different path. I got a, I got a center to your grenade. That'll be fun later. But we are done! Ooh. Hang on. Hang on. Seven ones. Uh. 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 -uh. <clears throat> no. No. All this stuff is useless to me. Going back to the crater real quick, and then we'll plan our next. We'll plan our next move, essentially. Probably, probably go through all the recordings. Sell all of it. I think that's it, though. Hang on. Yeah, I just need one more. Oh, no, it's... It's 72k. God, and 112. Okay, 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 think, think. Alright, we need some place quiet. 
I want some place quiet. Um. Diablo Station. We're gonna go through all of the, all the recordings that we have up till now. Okay, what do we got? Okay, we got Standalandos. This is Torkmok, Elite Captain Eckhart, formerly of Ikarukon. On this day, I feel the weight of ten arcs. I watch my brothers in arms fall after forsaking them. The strongest showing to date of interspecies solidarity has ironically led to the slaughter of two armies made up of all races. I've been a soldier since I grew my first Nibre luck. I've seen a lot of life lost and snuffed out my fair share. Nothing will ever eclipse what I saw last night. It's been replaying in my head over and over. I pray I will never have to lift a weapon again. I didn't know it was possible to feel honor and shame at the same time. Since this data rip has become a confessional of sorts, it's here that I'm a stork. Come on. Cooper, no one's waiting. Let's go. Torque mock. Data confessional beta 1-7. Today I turn my back on two dear friends. It feels like I've taken a charge blade to the gut. If I am to be one with Harmony, I can't kill anymore. Even if it is to defend the laws that keep Paradise safe. Cooper has got to understand. How couldn't he? He's matched me body for body, soul for soul. What does he see when he looks at me? A soldier that won't kill? Or can't kill? I'm still not even sure I had a choice. And yes... I had another nightmare. I'm getting used to them. This one was about December 23rd. Everyone thinks they know what happened that day. I could hear them scream. All of them. One by one. Every man and Votan. Thousands of unique screams in my head for hours. All night long. Omega 16-9. The nightmares continue, but can you really call them nightmares when you kind of look forward to them? The gunfire, the adrenaline surge, the... We're closed. Come back tomorrow. That's not who I am anymore. There should never be euphoria from violence. Sorry, Sensoth. Am I interrupting? Just dropping in on my new neighbors. My men and I will be stopping by from time to time. I don't do business with raiders. Oh no, the angry shop owner. Raiders don't do business. We take what we want, when we want. I'm not exactly shaking in my boots. Who do I send the bill to for my door? What? The bill? You're a fucking comedian. Tell you what, the name's Murphy. Anytime you feel big enough, you come and get it. <laughs> so long, you fucking gorilla. Pathological examiner Aaron Nyden. Correct suit and frontier, doctor of medicine. Procedure. Digestive tract dissection. The body is that of a 122-inch, 1,000-pound gray and black female. Bovisude, common name, Pau. The pelt appears particularly lustrous, and the skin an exceptional pink. However, the eyes are inset one centimeter and rotated fully into the skull. Mouth shows evidence of frothing, and the nose evidence of dried blood. The inner lining of the esophagus and stomach are swollen with a foreign agent. Examining further with ocular scope, Analysis in progress. Mm, interesting. 
Results show the presence of the Earth Military Coalition virus, Votacide 4X. This strand is specifically designed to attack Voton entities. Allegedly, all traces of 4X were destroyed after the bioagent moratorium was ordered by the Pale Wars Armistice. Somewhere in Sausalito, there are outlawed EMC bioweapons. Certainly could not be raiders. This matter must be reported to the local lawkeeper. There is an Arashandu here to see you, sir. Tell her I'm not here. I'm right outside the door, Varus. I've come with a business proposal. You tell her I'm just returned. Uh, time is money, my dear. You have five words or less to get my attention. Okay. Well, we have... One word left. Script. You've done it. You've got my full attention. We've discovered a large pocket of petrohull in Sausalito. Unfortunately, we do not have the funding to extract, refine, and transport such a fuel source. Reluctantly, I turn to you. Hmm. Of course, I would have to have complete ownership of the van. And 70% of all profit would go to Selector Enterprises. There are settlers on that property. They'll have no place to go. Surely that is negotiable. Nonsense. There's no negotiation. That's the beauty of this deal. You need me. So I get richer. Fine. I'll sell the land and every drop of petrohull to the Earth Republic. Unacceptable. Okay, you get the land, but we split profits 50-50. I'll help the settlers. Like I said, very fair. Deal. Stukar. Weston Marks? You look nothing like your voice, dude. Good thing you're not the face of the Frontier Truth. What a charming creature. Pleased to meet you as well. Script, please. You broadcast out of that thing? It's a mobile unit, uh, Hellbugs, Raiders, Governments. I'm not the kind of gent that can settle down. I believe this is the agreed amount. Yeah. Where's the scotch, old man? Yes, of course. A bottle of Old Earth's finest. There you go. Uh, my dear, a bottle of fine elixir needs to be treated with a little more sophistication than that. <clears throat> what? Never mind. You seem to have a knack for finding yourself in the middle of things. You wouldn't have any other little nuggets for me, would you? I might. As long as the arrangement stays the same. <laughs> I gotta go. We'll keep in touch. Greetings and slow mutations. This is the voice of the Frontier Truth, Weston Marks, coming to you from the last boat out of God Forgotten Sausalito. There I was, Truth Seeker. Sitting in the dim light of a vending machine, perusing through some salvaged EMC files, when all of a sudden, boom, something blasted into the ruined gas station I had called home for weeks. The peace of my makeshift radio station was soon overtaken by the chaos of a raider attack. These new world thugs would have permanently cancelled your beloved radio program, if not for my salvaged EMC flashbang grenades I had stashed in my pack. I managed to crash through a window, only to see the hills around me swarming with these land pirates. Thank God for a local soth, or yours truly would be cooking on a pow spit. So here's a double dose of Weston Mark's tips for you all. First, avoid Sausalito. It's a war zone right now, and the bad guys are winning. Second, avoid Sausalito. This is Weston Marks reminding you all to be good to each other. Stay safe. Never stop questioning. Defiance and all that. Yes, sir. Last troops are out. Ready to drop the door. That's secure. 
raise the frequency in your headset. You and me now. Commencing security code transfer, Corporal. Yes, sir. Awaiting the code. One, Delta, X-ray, Foxtrot, Niner, Tango, seven, four, seven. The system's armed. I'm prepped to join the transport. About that. You do understand the delicate nature of this operation? Of course, sir. Then you realize that code you entered is top secret. It's information you are not privy to. Sir? See that glint on the ridge about a hundred yards away? That's a sniper's scope. I'm sorry, son. State your business, Day, you vote prick. And know this, you don't want to fuck with Santana Murphy, because I fuck back. If my intention was to harm you, you would have been dead before you even opened your mouth. Corporal Murphy. Corporal? What the fuck are you talking about? We know of your EMC past. We know of your assignment at Cronkite Bunker. We also know what's in there, and that you know how to get it. Who exactly is we, Dag? Dark Matter. Dark Matter? Fuck. Yeah, I know the bunker. I can get you in. What's in it for me? Firstly, I don't kill you. Secondly, I don't tell your raider comrades that their fearless, psychotic leader was once an EMC foot soldier doing as he was told. And finally, I don't play the recording I just made where you admit as much. Sneaky son of a bitch. Is that recorder rolling? Yeah, Santana. One Delta X-ray, Foxtrot Niner Tango, 747. <laughs> Why does your breath smell like three miles of dog shit? He's walking over to shut your fucking mouth. There, Dag, you got what you wanted. Come on, let's get back to the refinery. You are free to go, Murphy. But your men stay. I need them to secure the bunker until my commander arrives. The hell they will. That's not part of the deal. Fine. You can take your men. But consider yourself an enemy of dark matter from here forth. God damn it. All right, Dang's in charge. For now. Home, home on the wasteland where the pow and the volo do play. It's a gorgeous sunset tonight, Trudy. I sure do miss your I wish I could say I never thought I'd fall for a lady of the bedroom arts, but... Oh, hell, I always... What the shit? Either I'm professing my love to you with a shooting star as my witness, or I just saw a big bastard of an arc fall shoot over my head. I got a gut feeling on this one, Trudy. I'm about 50 kilometers from banking enough script to get you out of that brothel. Head south, far from all this crap. Better get on my proverbial horse. That thing shot across the sky screaming, Come get me, Ark Hunters. Till next time, my love. My dearest Trudy, I'm guessing I'm about three hours from the score that's gonna get you off of your back. Aw, oh, fuck. Crag. <laughs> I thought I smelled a pile of shit. You headed to Frisco McNeil. Mind your business, and I won't make any fat jokes. Cut the BS. I know you saw the arc fall. What arc fall? <laughs> right. Let's talk to you. You peel me off some script, and I'll let you in on a little secret that could save your pathetic life. Yeah, sure. I pay you, and you tell some wine and cheese story to throw me off the scent. Then you swoop, well, waddle your tubby ass in, and scoop up the shiny penny. Fine. I won't tell you who else is on the trail. Fine. 
Then don't. Fine, I won't. But it's big. Yeah, it's big. You're big. Later, dipshit. All right, Trudy. We're real close now. Start packing your bags for Antarctica. The Ark Fall landed right smack in the middle of the old Scrapworks compound. Like I beat that fat ass crag here. I beat everybody here. Nothing but piles of worthless scrap to climb over to get to my windfall. Eerie quiet. Except for that, I've got a real creepy crawly feeling in my gut. Bug me. A piece of that scrap metal just grew a damn leg. It's alive! surfaced from the Ridgecrest mine with enough architect to buy a new roller. You know what I'm talking about? This time, like the rookies, I was real smart and brought an oxygen tank and dug way deep in that mine's belly. My hailer starts going all berserko, static, all like, what the fudge is wrong with this thing, right? I think nothing of it. Unzip, start watering the flowers. I'm on the second shake when shit me, bulge! Start shooting that cold fire once I'm a jig. You guys know I'm nimble. I'm dodging left, I'm juking right. This fucker is mean. I don't have my gun on. I just finished pissing. So I grab the freaking oxygen tank, and I'm like, eat this! And smack that motherfucker right in the face! The tank splits open and sprays the goods all in his grill. He goes down, I'm all like, what? Did I just kick a bulge's ass with an oxygen tank? I am bad ass, you know? You know. I look at this one. Big crack in its armor. I didn't do that. No, wait. That ain't armor. It's, it's, it's growing on him. This dude's armor is part of his freaking anatomy. So I peek in under the crack. It's all burned up under the armor from the oxygen. I shit you not, Cass. Seriously. Shut up, crack. You're such a liar.
is working, or who the hell is ever going to hear this? But I need to bear witness. My name is Lester Beckett. I'm, or I was, a hand up at Burton Ridge. A couple days back, a nasty wave of raiders rolled in like hell on earth. I mean, this was a sick batch of bastards. They would have done me dead, too, if it wasn't for the lawkeeper. Him and that big old sensor from down Headlands, and, uh, along with who I'm guessing was a deputy, came in and saved what was left of our asses. My daddy always told me those two were defiant few. Huh. I, I figured that was just some bullshit story. I was wrong. They had guns a blazing like some crazy sons of bitches. <laughs> I'm talking well-greased killing machines. Shit. I hear something. Still tons of raiders crawling around here. As long as that's the case, it's not safe. This is Lester Bacon. To testify again. You never believe how much can change in a day or two. Last night... I took shelter out in the woods with all sorts of old tan bugs crawling up my butt crack and such. <laughs> Today, well, I just had a beer and a shot with a couple old friends down the crater. You see, those defiant few I was talking about the other day went up to the refinery and paid Santana Murphy a holler. <laughs> the result? Let's just say, that neck bone ain't connected to the head bone no more. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, there's still some raiders running around here. But, well, Murphy, those dumb fucks ain't got no purpose. None of us is hiding today. Bottoms up for the lawkeeper, the sensoth, and that ass-kicking son of a bitch keeper their company. Lester Beckett. Words echoing in my head from this hangover. This Ark Hunter at the crater kept going on and on about seeing Dark Matter soldiers on the other side of the Golden Gate a few days back. I thought he was full of shit. Damned if it ain't true. I woke up to the sound of Dark Matter troops rolling through town this morning. They was all jack, badass, and mean in business. Yeah, I said dark matter. I'd rather let a raider nibble on my liver for a few minutes than the months of torture these fuckers are known to dish out when in the mood. If they're back, it's only a matter of time before the e reps show up. And then we're on the verge of war again. My daddy told me San Francisco wasn't such a fuck pile before the Pale Wars. Huh, hard to imagine. I need another drink. Councilman Storin, it's always a... Pearson, the rendezvous with Erev is off. What? Why? What did you say to them? I didn't step out of line. They're trying to pressure us into delivering things that are not in our best interest to deliver. Councilman Storin, it's always a pleasure to hear the good news about our little shipping contract. Good news this time, parasite. I'm through taking orders from you for any of your genocidal cabal. Throwing some stones, are you? That's wonderful. I should take the time to tell little Cat about that. Cat? Yes, the dear child is quite curious to know what her future holds. And I'd be glad to enlighten her. You wouldn't. You don't. You can't. Oh, Nizar was quite clear about her location once we convinced him of the danger he was in. It's a shame he can't apologize to you himself. I knew how angry he would be after his betrayal of such trusted information. So I killed him for you. You're a monster. I think you meant to say thank you. I said what I meant. Look, you piece of shit. Say thank you and be convincing about it or I'll send you the vid. 
hands of your screaming precious niece as we flay her alive. Thank you, Captain Zor. You are too kind. Well done. Now be a good boy and do as you are told. Councilman Starin, I heard quite the little rumor about you. Cat can be quite talkative. of her medication. Uh, she doesn't need medication? Sad news. Somehow she's developed a problem with her liver. Can't seem to process anything without an injection every day. Poor dear. What do you want now? You stayed on the arcs during resettlement in the wars. You barely made it down. Quite the hero, hurting the terrified and injured aboard that one last ship to Earth. The big hero. Ket thinks they were just doctors with normal patients, the Dr. Sewell and Naiden. Ket has no idea you weren't waiting on survivors. You were waiting on Biodyne to be delivered. Heartless, saving their lives at the cost of human genocide. They were going to let it go down with the ship. I'm waiting for your demand. I want what you have, and I see that you respect trading it for Votan lives. You get your precious niece only when Biodyne is in my hands. Hello, Jonathan. Did my men treat you well? Yeah, yeah, just fine. Where's the stuff? I got my script. I need my fix. Your fix is coming, Jonathan. Have a drink. This is fucking delicious. What is it? It's my own special blend. I just imported the ingredients from some friends in the VC. It makes me think of home. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking sweet and all, but, uh, I didn't come for tea. Of course not. We've given your adreno to your brother. I'll buzz him in. John, you all right? Let's get out of here. This place gives me the heebie-jeebies. Richard! John, what's wrong? Sounds like a mess, but at least we know Biodyne does not lose potency in water. That will do nicely. Lieutenant, Jonathan has served his purpose. Hand him a gun and a bullet. He'll handle the rest. We need to get this someplace useful. Perhaps the Manhattan Reservoir. Dearest Ket, I'm glad to hear that you are well. If you are receiving this message, then I am gone. I shamed our family. I shamed our whole line. I spoke with my old friend, Devanya Doan. She agreed with my assessment. There is only one way to restore honor to our family. To put a contract out on the lives of Eren Naiden and Bay Yule. They have done more harm in their long lives than you can imagine. No things that no living creature can be allowed to know. If you see either of them again, just run away. You remember them as friends, but they are not your friends. Dearest Ken, my happiest days were spent with you and your mother. I hope she understands. Tell her that I will meet her in the next world. I hope you have many stories to share. Begin personal log. Chapter 12, entry number 23. Today marks the one-year anniversary of my employment at Thon's lab. Dr. Thon brought a cake over to our quarters and shared a drink. He said he was quite thankful for all the service I've provided so far, and that he hoped I would remain after my contract ends next year, if possible. It was all quite thoughtful of him, and I couldn't help but feel a little guilty. I've done almost nothing the entire year so far. Broken up a few scuffles between tipsy researchers, fought off an insane wastelander that somehow wandered through the storm. Not that I'm complaining. Can't ever complain about safe work after Vegas. And the family is content if slightly bored. 
There was one odd occurrence a few days ago. Two researchers were removed from the active duty list, but the monthly caravan is still two weeks out. When I asked Dr. Thon about it, he simply said that he appreciated my diligence, but he was handling it, and that I needn't worry any longer. Anyway, I think I'm going to find the rest of that cake, assuming Rose hasn't. Murderface, report. Murderface, murderface, murderface. Murderface, 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 murderface. Murderface, you lazy sack of pow shit, pick up your radio. Hey, boss. Yeah? I think we lost Murderface. We went to check out the generator, and we haven't heard from him since. That's the eight one this week. Deep breath. All right, Dave, you got this. We can't just sit on our asses anymore. Ripper saw whatever it was, the liquefied lumpy yesterday, and followed it back to a shack in the middle of nowhere. Take snow dog, dump truck, butt wipe, lucky, unlucky, hamster bane, and their crews over there to check it out. Show whatever the hell it is stealing our people what pissing off the boss earned you. Roger that, boss. Alright, so there's two recorders left that we should probably get our hands on. Call mine. Oh, 
up here. We, these are actually very important to her because they um they explain the the um Roll they talk about the bulge so we want to get our hands on them but yeah that was a lot of stuff to look through to go through that was a lot of recordings Once I have these two recordings, we'll continue the story. Because that's all that's left, I think. That's all that's left is San Francisco's side story, side missions, and um, the main story within there. It's in the, it's in the building. I'm right. There it is. Okay. It's in the... Oh, wow. It's in the... The lake. That's it. Okay, that's good. Good. Oh, we're gonna. Oh, because normally if you hit the water, it's like we just gotta hope it doesn't sink us. Like, there's probably tons of data recorders in this game that I'm probably even missing. And I'm probably going to end up missing at the end of it all, but... I mean, I'll do a... I'll have... I'll make sure that in the end that we have... We have a witch we call it. <clears throat> Hey, um, yeah, but the one about Murphy, the leader of the Raiders, now we know he was part of the AMC. And he was there. He was there about the, um, the witch we call it. <sighs> I wouldn't be surprised if he was the one that was sniped, that put the code in and then got, was sniped, but he survived. I wouldn't be surprised. Come on, don't like this. Story. Scrape, tap, scrape, tap. So she creeps down the stairs slowly, one step at a time. Creak. Sounds like Western Marks. Down the 
stairs. Thump, thump, thump. She gets to the front door and whips it open. Standing at the front door is the biggest, meanest of all the bulge. The viscera. He blasts his cold fire cannon right into her stomach. What the? And her guts spill out all over the place. <sighs> Very inappropriate for children. Wow, that is wrong. You couldn't set it up to where... Greetings and slow mutations. Today's words, the Volge. The Arkfall has bestowed us a bounty of ugly little gifts, but this may be the coup de grace. These nasty war machines make razor rain seem like a quaint spring shower. They spend most of their days in the storm divide, but they're known to take a leisurely stroll from time to time. If you see them coming, tie your tennis shoes and do a 180. Hmm? Unless you've got a supercharged Reaper modified by Karl von Bach himself, don't even think about defending your property. Go, vamos, gonzo. Sure, if you're lucky enough to pierce their organic body armor, you may drop one, but he'll be back. Word is their DNA produces clone-like offspring, which means that same ten-foot brute may come a-knocking one day. Recap, people. See Volge? Run. Don't run? Die. Until next time, be good to each other, stay safe, don't stop questioning, defiance and all that. This is Weston Marks. So what is... What is the Storm Divide? That's the thing is, there's a lot of information that we really don't know about when it comes to the lore of this game. Which is kind of sad. Like, what is the Storm Divide? Where is that exactly? Because if you find that, apparently that's where... That's where the Witch Macards are. Um... And yeah. Alright, um... So let's see, what time is it? Six o'clock? Oh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a quick break and then I'm gonna continue. I'm finishing this game tonight.